looking to perhaps 11. open the pack from the blue. Pink probably goes into the left corner. Well, what a shot he's played there. How many players 13. would have even thought of playing that? It looked like he was playing into the reds. He was playing to free the pink and black. And he's a bit unlucky that the black has finished so close to the cushion, but what a, a clever shot that was. See, the 14. problem here is, mind, there might be a red at the back of that bunch that goes so he can drop the black in without forcing it. And there is. It's amazing, he, he can sort of create a chance just in the blink of an eyelid, Steve. 21. Oh, the most astonishing break builder we've ever seen in the game. And one of his great strengths. 22. Such a quick brain that allows him to play with such fluency. Uh, there's nobody plays that shot any better than Ronnie O'Sullivan. I think he might be able to get through to the red to the left corner. I'm not sure. Well, that's pretty tight, that. <coughs> yeah, he feels as if he can see enough of the red to pot it. He may have to commit totally. I don't think there's a way of playing this safe at the same time. One. I'll tell you what, that was a terrific long pot, so he's in fine form. When you knock this type of shot in, Eight. you know you're queuing well. Blue, so he hasn't had a chance, really. I think Mark would have expected Ronnie to be playing sharp coming into this. He would have prepared properly 16. Ronnie. But obviously Mark would have hoped that he wasn't firing 17. straight away. Eight. A little bit wider than he would have wanted. But if he could at all flick this red into play, he will do. Now he's got to do it from the green. 51. Needs to pull up. He doesn't want to be straight on the green, otherwise he can't get to that red. A little bit of angle. He was almost 55. straight on the green and he forced it over to knock the red out. That was a fabulous shot. So Mark Williams thought long 57. and hard about that plant that he took on. <laughs> and with Mr. Pink in the middle pocket and then that one, although that wasn't straightforward. One good long pot as we show you the miss again. But this isn't a gimme either. Oh, what a shot he played there. Wow. What a shot that was. Not only the pot, but have a look at the control of this. Oh, that is top drawer. Funny enough, when he played Mark Williams at the interval, Mark was saying, doesn't he hit the ball so Eight. well? I mean, that... Yeah, not the best safety shot from Mark Selby. Left Ronnie a chance here into this left corner pocket. Oh, beautifully cured. Beautifully cured.
Yeah, he makes it look so easy. Uh, and the See. best thing he can do here to put that last frame out of his mind and that easy pot is to knock in a sizable contribution here. And then he'll quickly forget about that last oh. frame. Titles between the two of them. And another test for a, a long pot for Ronnie. I haven't missed a long pot yet, but uh, something on the tip there just distracted him. Beautiful. <laughs> He's hit a few like that, and he makes it look so easy. I've not seen his long ball game so good, then. It's not for a long, long time, and anyway, I Eight. mean. 100% so far, and everyone hits so sweetly. Nine. Give up. 42. Proved that in the World Championship when he was behind against Ronnie. Come 43. storming back against him to win it 18-14. But it's good all-round snooker we're watching here from both players. And there's an all-round <laughs> positional <laughs> shot. <laughs> 50. Wait and see what this man can do. And one good cannon here Seven. can open everything up. Hasn't worked out unless there's a plant there. You could play that 14. nine times out of ten. And they would split a lot better than that. It was only the green that seemed to move. He's trying to force the plant. And he's got it. <laughs> Puff of the cheeks after pulling off that difficult plant. But there's a red and green. And they're back. We're down again. It's a bit like a golf shot. If you're not right, step away and come back. Yeah, absolutely. Another tester here for Ronnie. He hasn't missed one of these yet. Super. 100 percent from both players. It's unusual after five frames. Yeah, I just said it was a better break-off shot from Mark Selby because he didn't hit the blue and the way Ronnie's going, it might be Six. the only shot he plays in this frame. Played, you know, when he got a chance. Five. He's knocked the long one in, so. Yeah. And that's the that's key, being able to do that sometimes, have long parts of safety, and then when you get a chance, knock a long one in. Now, Six. This one red might just go here. And that's why he's playing the pink and left-handed again. I mean, <laughs> he did it too well. But this will certainly open things up but what a key shot coming up now Twelve. that will go not an easy pot but he's going to automatically cannon the red and could free a few more here Thirteen. Have a look at the position. Oh, he's well played. I say well played, but good escape, but we've seen Ronnie knock quite a few long balls in. Can he get another one? Wobbled a few times, but another cracking long pot. By far the longest frame of the match, over 27 minutes. Oh, this is not easy. 
But he oh. made it look easy. Well, that was actually a much better shot than his previous one. OK, the Seven. long pot was good, but that was better. There was a lot more pressure on that shot. And he cued it in. Eight. He needs to slow up this cue ball. He could have played that better. Now, will he drop the green into the centre? Take on the mid-range yellow. That puts the green back on its spot, of course. Makes life a bit easier, but this is virtual, you would say, yeah. shot for the frame. And that one 16. wobbled a little bit as well, but we're watching one artist on the table and there's another Damien Hurst. Mark Selby, 70. the reds are now so Ronnie O'Sullivan's not quite out of this frame just yet one mistake from Mark and there's a counter attack on there's not a ball safe on the table at the moment I think you may be able to have a go with this red into the left hand corner pocket there is a gap between red and black back down towards the table Needs a bit of luck here. Well, well I'll tell you what, <laughs> he's knocked so many long balls in. Because he's so far behind, he'll take this on. If this goes in, he's got a bit of a chance. What a shot that is. Kiss he got on the red as well, purposely played. Free up the pink. Seven. That red that's gone close to the side cushion, Dennis, that's not going to be a problem for Ronnie O'Sullivan because he's so good left handed. Eight. Surely Mark Selby can't make a 70 break and lose a frame. And of course, it's not only the frame, it would be the match, but. You wouldn't put it past his opponent, Ronnie O'Sullivan, relishes 15. this sort of situation. Sixteen. Ooh. Didn't want to kiss on the black, but he's okay. He can drop the pink in. Twenty two. Twenty three. Oh, that's a great shot. Fantastic shot, Dennis. I think in a cute angle as well. <laughs> wow. What a climax we could have to this match. Because the red 31. is okay. Ronnie can switch hands if he drops in behind this last red. And he's got the perfect angle to do that. Well, what a finish this could be. Mark 38 knows that this is finished a little awkward here. which was knocked up there at the start of the frame. Could be a little awkward, this next shot. It's got 
to make six. sure he doesn't snooker himself with the blue. Oh, 48. This has been absolutely sublime so far. This could be one of the best 51. frames ever seen. Having said that, he hasn't got on the brown as he wanted. He's got to go all the way around the table now. Where's the cue ball? Keep your eye on the cue ball. 55. <laughs> well, where does he play it? In the middle? And look into the corner. It's there, but he's still got a little bit to do. 60. Another good shot needed. Mark made a 70 break. Incredible. Oh. Oh. Absolutely oh. incredible. <laughs> clearances you could ever wish to see. Mark Selby made a magnificent 70 break. It looked like he was going to be one frame behind in the end with that brilliant clearance. Ronnie O'Sullivan takes the match. A fantastic match. Six Please, Ronnie, right in the heart of the pocket. Eight. Right here, half ball pot to the left corner. This will tell us how Ronnie's queuing. He's just pausing. There's a few latecomers just taking the seats. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful, never oh. touched the side. Similar, of course, to the opening red. I mean, and we keep saying about the break-off shot now, it's becoming like a poison chalice. If you don't get it right, you could be sat down for the rest of the frame. <laughs> Attempt this red. The red that's second left to the pink, I think that pots. Well, decided not to take it on. Well, it's okay. That red that was second left to the pink doesn't go now because it's blocked. And you can't play the one just below the pink because that was a day. Oh, this is a bonus. That's a bonus. One. Little shake of the head from Stuart. He knows that Ronnie didn't play that. Saying in the first frame, Stephen, these little fractions, these little bits of intervals. I mean, if I was two and down the semi corner, massive, I'd be in the dressing room, fuming. I'd be like trying to get myself up. Stuart was in the in, in the press room there, you know, relaxed, talking to everybody. But everybody's different. Can't that much too thin? As it turns out, the blue is. Just come in the way slightly. Wry smile from Ronnie. But he can just get past the blue to the thin edge on this red. Oh, oh where's the red going? Oh, he's cut it in. Well, it's probably all he could see of the red. It was a guide. That nicely. Now you think he wants to go. Is plant, is he? No, just playing the safety. As I say, it's only one snooker Bingham, required. 67. It's been done before. Oh. 
but needs to be on a colour. One. Oh, dear me, what a shot that was. <laughs> Eight. What a black to pot, and he knew that was the only way he could keep it at one snooker. Oh, sensational! Absolutely sensational! He's given himself a chance now. Not bothered about being on the red, as long as he can get the snooker. 16. I'm watching Stuart Bingham in his chair, he just he doesn't know what to think about this. The last two or three shots he's just been played. Got him on seven. 16. He needs the remaining Five. colours. He may have to play a little cannon from the brown here, just leave himself a nice angle on the blue. Well, he decided he could get past it, but he's wrong side of the blue. Nine. But as I always say, you'd rather be well the wrong side, so straightforward, in and out of ball, just got to judge the pace. Just got to judge the pace. Needs a bounce or to slow down one or the other. It's not bad, it's not great. Where's the cue ball going? Where's the cue ball going? 20. This black for an amazing frame to pinch. It's there! Well, that is absolutely incredible. When Ronnie O'Sullivan needed one snooker and it put out of the realms of possibility, but that black he potted in the middle bout to keep him in the frame was absolutely outstanding. And in the end, he takes a frame he should never have got. And he's now four clear. 5-1. That's the plan. 32 points the lead, 35 remaining, red required. 16. It's the double. Not there. 16, Stuart Bingham. Ronnie needs this red and blue or above and the remaining colours for frame and match. Once again. Quiet place. Pot of the match there. Six. There's that great pot again, but he's not perfect on this yellow. But it's there. Eight. And he's not going to be perfect on the green unless it slows down. Well, you said, Stephen, he needed a challenge. He was, he was asked a question. What a clearance this will be. He's the three remaining colours, and he's landed absolutely inch perfect on the blue. 20. Well, sharp intake of breath, but this isn't too bad on the pink. 26. And, well, Stuart Bingham looked as though he was going to get right back in this match, but what a last red Ronnie O'Sullivan potted, and in goes the black. And Ronnie O'Sullivan has beaten the world champion. Yes, 
Ronnie's uh, nicked quite a few of Stephen Hendry's records. Uh, he's overtaken them in the centuries department. He's overtaken them in the maximums department. One. Great opening pot, but uh, he's knocked some terrific long pots in throughout this year's Dathabet Masters. He really has. Yeah, I'm not seeing this. His long game is good, to be honest. I think over the years it may have been his Achilles heel, but this oh, week avoid the cannon playing off the red. Which he managed to do. That was about as good as he could do from there. Yeah, so badly hampered by the brown, he can't play safe off the main bunch of red, so he's forced to play this red. Oh, my word! What a pot that was! Could not hit a ball on the cushion cleaner than that. Yep, sometimes you have to hold your hand up and say, what a shot that was. Unbelievable queuing to hit that that well and get the work on the cue ball to bring it out for the pink. Incredible shot. A problem ball here, of course, for all the safeties, the pink, because that's what they're trying to avoid. But he should do it easily here. How's the cue ball? Is it up behind the yellow? No. No, and he may have had half an eye on knocking that red in, but easy enough plants. You may have to just bend it slightly. One. And if he's not on the pink, he's got a tricky black. And he's not on the pink. This is a tough shot on the black. And very tough pot indeed. Eight. Never looked anywhere else to it. One. Nice pot. I was hoping for a little cannon on that grain so it'd be on the blue for the right centre, but He's got a tricky pot in his left centre, but the cue ball will be going up towards the Reds. Four. Can we cue that green much better? This. For the frame. Oh! Where's it going? Oh no! You cannot believe it! It never ceases to amaze you at this game when you don't need the luck, you get it. What a fluke! All the effort that was put in that frame by both players, and it ends like that. Ronnie O'Sullivan hangs his head in shame. But when he looks at the scoreboard, he won't mind. He's seven clear. He Eight on one. The rack, but I don't think he can. No, I'm going to play the safety. And if it runs as it's heading, well, but for the kiss on the brow, it'd have been very good. But he's left Ronnie here, a long straight red. And he's knocked a few of these in this week.
shot. What a shot.